the nature of reality is so simple as it is. It's only a choice to make it so complicated. If we're trying to understand the meaning of reality, we can reference everything we've learned in the past, everything that's ever been written about the nature of reality. Here we're invited to rely on short moments of opening intelligence and discover the nature of reality in our direct experience, as it is in this moment, in this here and now. We can relax the need to understand intellectually the nature of reality. Conventionally, there are many data streams about the nature of reality, belief systems, assumptions. Everybody might have a little bit of a different take on the nature of reality. But there's no need to understand it in that way. You can if you want to, but it's very, it just continues to be abstract and confusing. So in this moment, the nature of reality is as it is. It doesn't require a human intellectual understanding of the way things work for it to be as it is. In short moments, repeated many times, of emphasizing what's looking through your eyes, you become more and more familiar with the nature of reality as it is. It doesn't even require a definition. In rea it's indescribable. If you try to put one word on it or a million words on it, it is still indescribable in that sense. However, we can experience it very directly. When you stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Open intelligence remains. It's always been with you. It will never leave. When we take short moments, we see everything rests in a great singularity, pooling in a great evenness, equalness. The benefit of all, inherent in every single moment. Now that's not what most of society thinks about reality. We've been trained to apply labels, positive, negative, and neutral, to every aspect of our experience. And then we spend our lives sorting and categorizing and fixing and trying to accumulate better information to make better information trying to have only positive data, trying to eliminate, eradicate, murder the negative data, just so that we don't have to experience anything negative. But how many of you, how many of us have ever had only positive data? Even whilst relying on open intelligence, the descriptions might still appear as negative. So it's not the point of the training to come here and get into some woo-woo kind of state where all we feel is positive data. That would, that's not realistic. It is not the nature of reality. The nature of reality is that positive, negative, neutral data, they have no independent meaning or power of their own. They are inseparable from the flow of benefit, regardless of the description. When we leave it as it is, we leave it as its ultimate, fundamental meaning of open intelligence. By doing so, we inherently know what to say, know what to do. If we want to examine what has happened two, two, million, two million years in the past, we can do so. If we want to use our intelligence to bake the most amazing bread in the world, we can do so. If we want to create powerful, empowering music that will reach the masses, we can do so. We don't have to be a victim of any past training, of any of our data or anybody else's data. We see very directly that data are here for complete empowerment. Now, that wasn't my experience before I met this training. Before the training, there was the micromanagement of data, trying to get rid of the negative and accumulate positive. And I went to any lengths to try to do that. And although successful to a degree, it always fell apart. There was always more to achieve. 
The positive state lasted for a little bit longer and then it collapsed as well. So there were, was constant seeking, <laughs> constant questioning, and not really finding a community of people who were completely empowered either. So when I met Balanced View, well, that is what I found, a community of completely empowered people allowing data to be as they are and to see that it's only ever our, our fuel to be of great benefit. And when you come to the trainings, a lot may come up for you. You may hear us say, we face everything fully and we avoid nothing. But you're provided with all the support to face everything. The challenging things, the neutral things, the really positive things, and to empower it completely. To no longer be bl blindsided by descriptions. I mean, anger can really just cloud our vision completely. I just know you, you have a, something comes up, somebody says something to you and then you feel justified and it feels like they don't understand you and, and you feel all the emotions, all the sensations and it's so easy to indulge in that data and not see what is the most empowering thing for ourselves and others in that moment. When we allow anger to be as it is, short moment by short moment, it opens up. It doesn't have that tiny little paralyzed description any longer. It opens up into the power to be of great benefit. The trainer is only ever here to empower our data. It's not a typical relationship of we get to share our data with somebody and they either agree or disagree and my idea is better than yours and it's not this kind of relationship. It's a relationship based on just complete empowerment and anything beyond what we could ever imagine a relationship could be. At least that's my experience. To have a relationship with one other person who does not let us collapse into any data and is always there to support us no matter what. Like, did you ever learn how to swim from your parents? when they bring you out in the water and they, they're there and they're teaching you how to swim and they let go of you and you think, oh my god, they're going to let go of me, I'm going to drown. <laughs> Quick, grab me. And they know, they know that we can swim and if we're sinking, they're going to grab us. <laughs> completely support us. That's the role of the trainer, to be there to completely and support and empower us, to see that we can swim or fly or do whatever we really want to do in this lifetime. Everybody is totally imbued with amazing qualities and activities that are available to contribute to the benefit of all. Most of us have just been diminished, disempowered, disenfranchised. If you go on the internet and you look at these amazing projects and then you look at all the comments underneath it, some of them are amazing comments, other ones are just telling how horrible the person is, that their invention was ridiculous. And it's so heartbreaking to, to receive that kind of feedback day in and day out. So in the Balanced View community, we offer empowering feedback. There's not this, this hierarchical level of trying to diminish people and put people down. It's to let everyone open up as they are and flourish, live a life of complete satisfaction and flourishing. Not just a little bit, like as far as we want to take it. And I realize that anything that I experience that I call negative, it's because I'm choosing to call it negative. I'm choosing to either indulge, avoid, or replace it. And by being in the training setting, that becomes very illuminating. <clears throat> and then if, it, if you're in the training setting and all this data is coming up about the training and the training setting, you have a choice. Do you want to continue to be a victim of that rambling of data or not? And then you bring it back to the basics again. Short moments of resting body and mind completely. Nothing to analyze, nothing to grasp at. The destination already here. We are at home as we are. 
And that, for me, just brought about more and more relief, even amidst ne more and more negative data that I realized I was either suppressing or just wasn't allowing myself to face completely. You know, we just start to see, wow, I really have not allowed myself to feel that way, to think that way, to experience any of these things. I've spent my whole life avoiding, suppressing, indulging, replacing, and not allowing things to be as they are. So in this moment, it's such a relief to allow everything to be as it is. Let the mental workings be exactly as they are. Nothing to figure out. That sense of ease, coupled with a sense of potency, is always available. The short moments enable the access to open intelligence. The intelligence that's not a separate intelligence. Short moments, many times, it's a profound practice and so simple at the same time. The training has to be available for everyone. <coughs> We don't want to provide yet another abstract idea about the nature of reality. It's instructions, it's using metaphors and similes to evoke open intelligence in our direct experience. Open intelligence in the color blue, wait. <laughs> open intelligence in data, inseparable like the sky in the color blue. I can't, I don't even know what I'm saying now. What's another metaphor? The breeze in the air, inseparable. It's just, after a while it just becomes, <laughs> you're not even trying to figure it out. You just are not trying to figure out the nature of reality. And what a relief, and then you're just happy to be, powerful to be. We need some fans up here. <coughs> Expectations. I would suggest just giving the training a full go. Like if you expect to be empowered, just rely on your commitment to want to be fully empowered, to empower all of your data, your negative, your positive, and your neutral. Neutral. Look at the community around you and see how they are relying on the Four Mainstays for complete empowerment. Talk to a trainer. Rely on the short moments. Don't dismiss short moments as too simple or not radical enough or not complicated enough. The nature of reality is already, already available in each moment. It hasn't gone anywhere. The data are the shining forth of this reality. So if anything, we can expect for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected and know that you're completely empowered to face the unexpected. I mean, that's ultimate freedom, being able to face everything powerfully, easefully. And then, yeah, the data, it's not like we have to take, and take it to an extreme and say nothing can harm us. Nothing can harm your open intelligence. If it's the worst thought in the world, it never leaves a mark on stainless, flawless open intelligence. If it's the most positive experience you've ever had, it has not left a mark or a stain or an imprint on open intelligence. All data arising, self-releasing. And we see it's only a choice if we let the description somehow pull us and tug us and push us around. 